Hey guys, Mike Jank here in Lisbon, Portugal. Just got in yesterday. Been trying out all the best egg tar places. Today is Monte Guardia. This is the third egg tar place I've been to since getting here. Oh, look how to caramelize this on top. Ooh, this thing might be one of the flakiest it has so far. This might be the best one I tried. For all you egg tar lovers, if you can, try a Portuguese egg tar from Portugal. There's just nothing else like it. I mean, the flaky crust, the custard. Mm. I've been eating it multiple times a day. It just makes me want it more and more. Anyway, before heading out to film my dinner, a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this next video, Surfshark VPN. I've been talking about Surfshark VPN for several years now. It's still a tool I use every single day. Let me tell you why. First of all, people are traveling more. Everyone's connected to all sorts of Wi-Fi hotspots, whether at cafes, restaurants, airports, train stations. And a lot of times these hotspots are not very secure and great opportunities for people to have access to your personal information. An example I always give whenever you're Googling something or chatting with your friends about something, all of a sudden they ask for whatever you're talking about, whatever is related to whatever you were talking about, start popping up everywhere. This is just one example of people getting access to your personal information. What a VPN is, is a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does, it encrypts and secures your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people you don't want having access to your private info, they won't have access to it. Also, Surfshark has something called Surfshark Alerts. So when someone's trying to gain access to something like your email, you're gonna get notified right away. Also on the entertainment side, if you wanna check out what Netflix catalogs look like in other countries, you can actually utilize Surfshark VPN to make streaming services like Netflix think that you are in a different country so you gain access to their video catalog. And I use this so much here when I'm traveling outside the US, I don't have access to US streaming services, so I can actually use my VPN to make the streaming services think that I'm actually in the US, so I gain access to my US streaming services. Also, a lot of times, US websites don't even work properly when you're in a different country. So I utilize Surfshark VPN pretty much just, just to pay my bills. So if you want to get this track, go to my link down below. Or use my promo code MikeyChan. You'll get 83% off plus additional three months for free. And you can try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for whatever reason, get your money back. All right, I'm going to finish these and head off to dinner and enjoy the video. Morning, Geneva. Never get tired of coming to the window every single morning. Last full day here. I'm gonna eat the best of it. Breakfast today is gonna start at the President Wilson Hotel. Bayview is a Michelin star restaurant here in the hotel. This is a one Michelin star restaurant helmed by Chef Roth. And every Sunday in the lobby area, Chef Roth also creates an all you can eat Sunday brunch buffet. And that's why I'm here today. I didn't realize all this in the back shelf, the bookshelf of dessert. That's a lot of dessert. And here you get to just grab whatever you want, just like a regular buffet. They also have main courses in this little menu that you can order as much as you want as well. So ordered all of these dishes and now I'm gonna start working on my plate while that is being cooked. A lot of variety of seafood. The buffet is not a ginormous buffet, but everything looks very intricate. I got some seared tuna, some salmon, some sushi, colada cheese, spicy pineapple shrimp, some burrata cheese, this fish dish, just a lot of seafood. Oh, that salmon is delicious. I think it's a little marinated already. It melts in your mouth. I got this one. Looks like some uh, salmon with avocado over rice. Mm. Sushi rice is delicious. A little vinegary, not at all overwhelming. Some burrata 
cheese. Mm. Wow. I think it goes without saying that cheese in this country is just absolutely mind blowing. Mm. Too much any cheese to bite into. It's gonna be good. I wish I got some cold cuts with this cheese. I'm gonna save some of this and eat it with the cold cuts. A little bit of seared salmon. Wow. Seared salmon, seared tuna. All the fish dishes. So delicate. A little hint of sweetness. And pretty much dissolves when it hits your tongue. Mm. I think the main idea of this buffet is just freshness. Not any particular item. There's no flavors that's really overwhelming. It's just a lot of natural good flavors from the fresh ingredients like this. That is a beautiful looking prawn. Suck the head out. Mm. Yeah, this thing tastes like it just jumped out of the waters onto my plate. This thing don't really need any dipping sauce. Just taste this natural sweetness. All right, let get some cold cuts. The main dishes arrived. Look at this, this is freaking crazy looking. How beautiful is this? This is included in the buffet as much as you want. This is sea bass, a mashed potato, confit fennel with crustacean sauce. Oh my goodness, this is on a buffet. Fish is flaky, it's tender, the little crisp on top provides such a great contrasting texture to that delightfully succulent meat. Mmm. Mashed potatoes delicious. The fennel is nice and crunchy. Crustacean sauce adds a layer of umami to this dish. This thing is light, it's delicate, and I'm for sure ordering another one of these. This is the chicken dish. It's a chicken valentine. Sauteed peas it look like, some beans, and a moral mushroom sauce. Oh, this looks great. Again, a dish that you would never think would come with a buffet. Moral mushrooms, obviously something that's so delightfully delicious. Mmm. Mm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Beans provide a little sweetness, a little starchy texture. Moro mushrooms are super expensive. <laughs> Gotta eat as much of that as possible. The sauce is wonderful. It's rich, it's buttery. It's got so much flavor. The scallions provide a nice crunch and a degree of heat. Chicken is tender. This is one of those dishes that I'm so glad I got some bread because I'll be dipping this in the sauce. Final dish, risotto with tomato and basil. This is a vegetarian dish that's on the menu. Mm. This is amazing as well. Mm. Risotto, perfectly cooked. A little acid and sweetness from the tomato. This thing is rich, it's buttery. It's got so much flavor. The tomato cuts through the creaminess and the thickness of the risotto. I mean, it's got texture, it's got flavor. This is an amazing dish. This is a dish I never tried. This is a French dish called pâté en croûte. And it's a mixture of meat pâté inside a baked pastry. And every year there's competitions to see who makes the best version of this. Mmm. There's a lot of flavor in this pate. It's got a good chew. Oh, there's some meat jelly on the end here with some pistachio. Mm. This thing just has a wide array of textures and flavors. I mean, it's meaty, it's nutty. I personally really like that meaty aftertaste. Mmm. Glass delicious, but look at this ham. I mean, this thing just looks like a painting. Oh, so beautiful. Mm. Oh, that fatty part just dissolves as soon as it hits your tongue. This is like the wagyu of ham right here. Mm. A little sweet, a little nutty. My oh, texture is just incredible. I, I need a whole lot more of that. That's one common theme I noticed while eating the meats on this buffet. Everything is so melty. Hmm. Ready for dessert after this. It's a lot of dessert.
desserts here look incredible. I'm not sure what half the stuff is. Oh, this is so good. It tastes like a cream puff. And this thing, it's like a blueberry eggy custard. Coffee pie is amazing. This pistachio raspberry layer cake, so freaking soft. This thing is called a floating island. It just looks like meringue, like egg whites, with some kind of sauce on top. That's the best one. You don't chew this thing. I know I said this many times before about things tasting like a cloud. This literally looks like and tastes like a cloud. If you have ever eaten a cloud before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like when you're just running through the streets on a foggy day and the fog was sweet, that's what you would taste. Everything is good. The mousse, the chocolate cake. Oh, this mousse cake is out of this world. Delicious. Wow. Mm. Silky smooth chocolate mousse on top. Crumble cookie crush with a bit of fudgier chocolate on the lower layer. Desserts on a whole different level here in this buffet. Especially with that floaty island, floating cloud thing. I need a whole plate of that. And this is passion fruit. Whoa. I think passion fruit white chocolate and little mousse in the middle. Mm. Oh, this is so, 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 so good. I think I might like the dessert better than the savory item on the buffet. Mmm. There's a little dark chocolate tart with some fudge on top. This will make your life better. No matter what kind of bad day you're having, it will make your life better. Mm. Whoa. This is fantastic. Mm. There's some kind of little cream with raspberry and little bits of cookie. I am completely satisfied after this dessert showing. I mean, the savory stuff is good. A lot of fresh, good ingredients, but a dessert is an experience. It's definitely gem and nap time after this. Oh, the sun is really bright. Last dinner here in Switzerland, and we're gonna fun do it again. In this place we're at, that's a Chinese fondue, I'm gonna check that out. So got the Chinese fondue, I have no idea what a Chinese fondue is. I'm excited though, because it's supposed to be thin slices of beef. You still get the little fondue fork, so I've been really liking this since coming to this country. I'm getting really good at it. I can like spear a bread from at least half a table away. Wouldn't it be funny if Aquaman had a little brother, his name is Fondue Man, and he's just deadly with a fondue fork. Reels you in with some cheese and then stabs you. So this is the Chinese fondue. Thin slices of beef. I know there's a lot of the beef they use for the fondue, and this is true for the uh, Swiss beef fondue as well. The slices of meat are really, really lean. And inside here is a beef broth. A lot of herbs and greens in here. We try to order both the cheese and the Chinese. Uh, with lettuce because it's too much food. But according to the menu at least, this is supposed to be all you can eat. Very nice quality beef. You stab it with that little fondue fork. Into the pot it goes. Really don't need to do it for that long. There is. There should be dipping sauces as well. I'm just gonna try it with the broth. Okay, it's not bad. The broth tastes a little herby. I do feel like it needs some sort of dipping sauce. It, it put a little flavor into the beef, kind of like a like a light, refreshing flavor. Maybe mostly because of the cilantro. Never had fries with hot pot before. meat does taste like it's pretty good quality. Again, it's very lean, so it is a little chewy. It doesn't really have that melting mouth texture I love from Hot Pot meat. But again, you can taste this really good quality meat. That's definitely something you notice at every Swiss restaurant, the quality of the ingredients. First of all, it's really good. Uh, let's see what happens when the dipping sauce gets here. Honestly, I'd much rather dip that into cheese. I would. Did they give us a cheese pie? Give us some meat? I'll dip that into cheese. Only thing is, it wouldn't cook in the cheese, so yeah. We have the two pots here. Dip it in, into the pot, 
into the boiling broth to cook the meat and then dip it into the cheese. So this sauce is a mixture of mayonnaise, Tabasco, ketchup and cognac, curry and tartar sauce. And again, it is all you can eat. I've never had tartar sauce with my hot pot before, but I am open to things. Mm. Dip this in the curry sauce. I wish it was a, maybe a garlic sauce or something. Ketchup sauce is good. I think that mainly goes with the, for the fresh curry sauce, I feel like goes better with the beef. Finally, try a little tartar sauce with the beef. Actually, I think I like that the best. I just really like tartar sauce. And if the sauce works, then it works. This is actually really nice. I feel like it's good, but also kind of healthy, much healthier than the kinds of hot pot I used to eat. And for all you can eat, I'm not disappointed. I might still get a cheese fondue after this stuff. We got another cheese fondue coming with this beef, with another refill of meat. This should be really, really good. Can't leave Switzerland without another fondue. Cheese fondue is here. Now things are gonna get interesting. Take the meat, cook that, and then dip it into the Moro cheese fondue. <laughs> oh, amazing. Wow, there's definitely more liquor in this fondue than the last one. And you get that great fragrance from the Moro mushroom stew. That's a great combo. Beef in the broth, dip into cheese, amazing. And then of course, just go for the regular. Oh, by the way, um, this is a beef fork and this is a fondue fork, sorry for not knowing the difference before. I told you guys, the fondue in this country, there's an addictive quality to it. I don't know what it is. The more you eat it, the more you want to eat it. Dip some of the fries in there too. Basically, whatever you dip into this fondue, it just get better. Put the meat onto that cheese soaked bread. Mm. And just indulge. Again, final full food day here in Geneva. One of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to in my life. Lake Geneva is amazingly gorgeous. The air is so pure. The people are so nice. The fondue is so cheesy. This just seems like an amazing place. Only city I've been to in Switzerland so far, but wow, what a place. A couple of morals on there as well. Mm. Well, mushrooms are so good. It's almost got a, its own umami to it. And the texture is amazingly crunchy. Now I'm gonna concentrate on my meat fondue combo here. So as always, I'll place that winter list down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later. A few moments later. Ooh, gelato mania. All right, we did really good. Finished the cheese fondue. Had uh, three, four refills on the Chinese fondue and ice cream. Mmm. Oh, gelato is so good in this country. I just heard about this thing about fake gelato. They didn't know fake gelato existed. Anyway, according to well, what's a real gelato, the statue should be brownish grayish. This looks and tastes real. All right. And then, 